Assalamu alaikum students we are having another topic that is the factors on which the force acting on current carrying conductor depends in our last uh, topic we read about that the force acting on current carrying conductor now we are going to find out on what factors this force acting on the current carrying conductor depends the number one factor is that is the strength of strength of magnetic field it has been found that if b is more then f will be more as you can see that b is the f the force will be directly proportional to the strength of magnetic field that is the more the stronger will be magnetic field more will be the force experienced by current carrying conductor secondly it depends upon what the amount of current depends upon the strength strength of electric current that is b directly proportional to i if the large <coughs> current flows through the conductor placed in the magnetic field it will experience a larger larger force so this re f f depends upon i not b f if more will be the i more will be the force if more will be the b more will be the force and lastly the third one it depends upon what the length the length of conductor that is f directly proportional to l the length of conductor now in order to find out the magnitude of force if we are going to combine the all these forces uh, all these factors then f directly proportional to b i and it will be the l so it has been found that the force experienced by a current carrying conductor depends upon the strength of magnetic field the amount of current and the length of the conductor just mean proportionality you are having a constant there that f equals to what it is k times b i and it will be l while k is the constant of proportionality and its value is 1 its value is 1 and it is the what constant of constant of proportionality so this very equation will become as simply f equals to what b i and it will be the l now from this we can define the definition of we can give the definition of magnetic field we can here write it down b equals to f over i over l <clears throat> now if and actually it is not only on these very factors it also depends upon the sign of theta because till the full formula for it is that you are going to write in your 12th class it is actually f is equal to b i l sin of theta this is the complete formula it depends upon the theta also it depends upon the magnitude of b i as well as l but it also depends upon the angle the angle between the b and the l as it is placed in the now if we will write here b is equal to f over i over l if i equals to 1 and l equals to 1 then b equals to f now what is b and what is f thus magnetic field strength is defined as the force acting it is a force acting per unit length of conductor placed perpendicular to the magnetic field thus we can define the magnetic uh, this very magnetic field strength is defined as the force acting per unit current per unit length because this is now one this is now per unit as they are in the division so this very magnetic field strength is defined as the force acting per unit current per unit length of the conductor when placed perpendicular to the magnetic field and you have to remember it is si unit is what that is tesla denoted by t 
and if you are going to choose it here it will be here one tesla equals to instead of f we will place one newton in division it will be i it will be one ampere into one meter so which implies one t only once so you have to write tesla then it will be in singular it will be capital t it will be one newton per ampere per meter you have to remember this you can break it down further but you have to remember this thus we can say the magnetic field strength is said to be one tesla if if one meter long conductor carrying a con uh, current of one ampere experiences a force of one newton when placed perpendicular in the direction of magnetic field then you can define what one tesla this is all for today tomorrow will be with another lecture till then allah hafiz